Now what the hell is going on? I am an octopus. What the hell? An eight-legged beast. And you're dead. These tentacles are beyond my control. Huh? Their will is the will of the battlefield. What? Yeah, you're dead. Okay then. I'm officially freaked out. Funny. So funny. What? You just died? It's all so funny. What the hell? No. It's not funny. Uh, what? She's not dead? Nothing is funny. Uh, snake. Oh. I shouldn't be laughing. Shoot in the face. I can't. She's dead. The truth is, I'm not laughing. <laughs> what? Officially freaked out. What the fuck is going on? I don't want to. Snake, shoot in the face. Is she not dead? Are you serious? I just wasted it all that. Yeah, get her in the face. Oh my god. Okay then. I don't know what's going on. I'm officially freaked out. Just shooting her doesn't work. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm guessing you just continuously shoot her or something. Wait for an opening. I'm in a wall. I'm dead. Oh my god. Get off me, bitch. Get off me. Bitch. She knows when I'm gonna shoot and shit. <laughs> this is freaking me the fuck out. Uh, Archon, you got any ideas? Uh, Snake, don't let her get too close. Keep your distance. Aware of that. When she hugs you, you take damage. Don't oh, get shit. too close, Snake. 
Stay away from her. I know that. I want to know how to attack. Snake, don't. This is fucking stupid. He's not giving me any hint on whatsoever. Great. So I have no idea how to attack. Fucking brilliant. All right. Just shoot it. Just, just shoot her, basically. Bitch. Is she dead yet? God damn it. That's the longest boss fight ever. Right, you, you just blow him in the fucking suit and shit. And she's dead. Please. Please be dead. Yep, we're done. Thank God. <laughs> oh my God. That was... That was insane. <laughs> I don't know where I just looked at. Now what? Are you serious? Uh, don't touch it, Snake. She's a rock. Well, she's... She's dead, I assume. And, uh... He's Otto Camel. Uh, I'm officially confused of what just happened. Who's calling? Forty point nine three. Looking good today. It's driven. driven. What do you want? That's cold, man. And here I was about to tell my very best customer about face camo. Face camo. That camel skull Basically. cap you just picked up from Tentacle's shell. It utilizes the same kind of technology as your Octo Camel suit. No shit. Using the Let's that out. get you even better results. I'd hang on to it if I was you. Doesn't fit. It's not my size or shape. Uh. Yeah. Looks like you could use a bit of tailoring before you can sport it. Not my line of work, but... Ain't you got a buddy who specializes in that kind of thing? Hmm. Somebody's done their homework. Uh, is my job. Autocon? Jack? Is the real reason you injected me with those nanomachines? To spy oh my, on me? No, I only I prefer the term customer data management myself. Oh, you only Brother, I mean, relax. It's strictly confidential. I ain't gonna share it with anybody. I already what have. What did you mix a virus in with the nanomachines for? Virus? A certain virus was detected in my body. Are you saying it wasn't in the nanomachines you injected? Look, you do know there are other folks who could have done this to you. And besides, what would I gain from infecting you? Better for me that you're out there kicking ass on the battlefield. That's a good point. I was watching you, Snake. You're a real piece of work. <laughs> Never thought I'd meet the man who could take down Laughing Octopus single-handedly. He was a bitch, though. She just kept on laughing. Now, why do you suppose that is? No fucking idea. Something in her past. You got it. Oh. She's from a village in Scandinavia. A little seaside hamlet known to all the locals as the Devil's Village. Oh, good. The place wasn't known for devils, though. It was known for octopus. Oh. So this was one of the few places in Europe where they ate octopus customarily. Oh. Anyway, that makes sense. There's this cult of crazies who, for some reason, hate the village with a passion. Then, when she was just a teenager, things get bad. These nutcases get their hands on some weapons and attack the village. 
Overnight, a sleepy little fishing town becomes a war zone. Oh, boy. They round up all the villagers and execute them one by one. Trauma. Except for that girl. Oh. They had something else planned for her. Something a whole lot worse than dying. I think we just faced it. Calling her the devil's child, they forced her to do the kind of thing you'd expect from one of Lucifer's own. After they made her torture her family and friends, they made her kill him. Oh, shit. The whole time they were forcing her to laugh, howl like some sort of demon. Like she was enjoying it. What was she gonna do? Say no? Then kill her too? So she let fear take control. And did exactly as they told her. Shit. She butchered the bodies of the ones she loved. And laughed while she did it. And as she bathed in their blood. It gradually turned from deep red to jet black. To her. It looked like the ink of an octopus. The experience scarred her deep. Ever since then, she hasn't stopped laughing. Only, that ain't really laughed. Why are you telling me this? You expect me to feel sorry for her? No. I know you got no room for that stuff in your world. I would. And besides, this is war. Right. In a way, though, I guess it was the right thing to do. What was? Fighting you cleansed her mind. All right, enough chit-chat. There's other beasts out there in them woods. Watch your back. Okay. Oh boy. Well, I feel sorry, but that was terrible. Shit. <laughs> what the hell?